Hi everyone, Nobsy here. I'm going to give you a, a security briefing. I'm by no means an expert, but I'll, I'll tell you what I, I know. The first thing um, is anonymity on the web. You should not uh, give away all your details. That's your main security problem. Uh, what happens is you sign in to some new uh, website using your Facebook details. In other words, you're allowing um, anybody who wants access to all your Facebook uh, details to um, to know all about you, pictures, information. You just give your information away. This is the problem that, that most people have. And that uh, information is going to be used by commercial interests to put stuff on their databases and to try and sell you stuff. So things like um, Facebook and Twitter, Facebook more so, it's, it's, a, it's absolutely dreadful, their security, they haven't got any. So um, that's, that's, that's the first thing, be careful of who you're uh, giving information to and uh, make sure you're uh, not signing in with a Facebook uh, account or a Twitter account, um, just create a, a fake one. That will give you a, a great deal of security. The next line of security that most of you will be using, of course, is to use Linux. If you use Linux, you're less likely to be attacked because most of the uh, the malware, the rubbish, the viruses and all the rest of it that is available is not going to run on Linux. It's not designed for Linux uh, operating system. It's not designed for the um, the the file the file systems that that we use so that's your biggest um, improvement to your security right the next thing is don't use flash in puppy you will see flash is disabled in puppy 5.31 um, with flash block you have to download flash and you have to um, enable it uh, in order to make um, use of it. You'll also see that again within Puppy 5.3 one there's a um, advert blocker which you can turn on. So if you can don't use Flash. I do use it because I need it. I use it on YouTube and, and things like that. Now the next thing is firewalls. The The chances are there's a firewall in your router so you don't really need a fire, firewall but um, we do have a puppy firewall. Remember puppy does not run um, servers and daemons. It has most of them turned off. So it's not connected by default with all these um, potential leaky systems. We don't have that. So we don't actually need a firewall, but we've got one um, and you can run that uh, if you so wish. So the next thing to do is to secure your data. There's various ways of doing that. You can use external um, hard drives or you can unmount your hard drive when it's not being used and store all your data on that. There's other ways of, of doing it, for example, using the multi-session system. I mean, I think that's, that's going too far, but some people prefer that. It's a very good way of doing things. I tend to run directly from DVD and all my configuration files are saved onto the um, onto the hard drive and I find that's that's very um, secure. Now the other thing that's not secure is the cloud. The cloud is not a secure place to save your data. Why? Because it is being run by commercial interests and a company may say, well, we're never going to do anything bad. We're never going to put your data in, in uh, sell it or, or put it in some database. But then they sell the company and the new company has a new policy. And that new policy is to sell your data, your information to anyone who's willing to pay the price. So the cloud is not a secure system. Right, the next thing is, again in Puppy 5.31, you've got Growl. Now I wrote this program, um, I never really use it, but it gives you various um, opportunities and various things that you can do. You can do penetration testing, so you can test to see what ports are open. You can also run the browser secure securely, so you can use that if you so wish. That's, that's a, a good option. Now, we're... Um, the the root, oh root, 
Oh boy. Fido is being developed. This will allow you to not run as root. I intend to run as root. It's my computer. If I don't want other people um, using it, then um, I'll lock the door or I'll take the, the CD out uh, or the DVD out. It's not a problem. Even with other Linuxes, um, I immediately use it as root. But um, just to let you know, Fido is being developed so you can you can run as a non-root user and, and feel more secure if you so wish. Right now, something I mentioned is the the I once had a um, a student who worked for a, an an embassy, and basically they were advised to to use every security option that was available. They were they were running Windows, of course. Um, every update that was um, w that was there, and to check for all the security updates that were coming from um, Microsoft, and inst install those as soon as they they were available. That's that's good advice if you're using Windows. Hopefully you're not. You're using Puppy, so you don't have uh, that sort of problem. You're as I say, just running Linux. You're immediately much more secure. Now the other problem is phones. I mean, I was looking at the Android phones. And whenever you um, install an application, you basically you 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 just say um, I have access to all your information. I can send stuff on your behalf. I can do whatever I want with your data, and you sign this way. You sign this 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 data away. That's what you put on your um, on your. You, you, that's what you do when you actually sign up with these services. So be aware that phones are not secure and you may be using similar services that you're using on Puppy that you're using on, on phones. So do be aware of that. Um, now banking. Banking um, is very secure with, uh, with, with Puppy. You can, if you really want to, you don't have to, but if you really want to, you can sign in with, uh, when it says boot in, right at the beginning where Puppy um, boots up, it says boot and then boot colon and if you type in pfix space pfix no it's sorry it's puppy space pfix equal ram all all one all one word so puppy is a separate word and then space and then pfix equals ram you can boot up into an absolutely pristine um, connection to the internet and you can do all your banking if you so wish um, and that'll that'll give you a, a secure system Right now, the um, penetration testing is available with with things we have. I've, as far as I know, we've got War Dog and another um, backdoor uh, version of, of uh, Puppy. So we've got two puppies that you can use, which are security orientated. I don't know where they are. I've, I've used them briefly. Uh, not my cup of tea, but some of you may may um, prefer that. Now, the the biggest problem really is FUD. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. People see Puppy do something peculiar, or they see Flash doing something peculiar, or the browser doing something peculiar, or a program doing something peculiar. They don't think, oh, well, there's maybe an error. It hasn't been completed. It's my graphics card. It's the, the, the you know, it's an early version of the software. It still has. They immediately think, I'm being hacked. You're not. That is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. You're just convincing yourself that something is happening when it's not. If you are totally um, obsessed with security, then you need to look at uh, a virtual private network and connect to the internet through through that. If you never connect to the internet, you're basically um, secure. Now, there are th three types of um, hackers what are called hackers we tend to use hacking for for programming that's how we're using puppy school it's a uh, a hacking school computer hacking means programming for us it does not mean cracking it's nothing to do with breaking into uh, secure systems that's uh, black hats black hats do that um, gray hats do it for uh, penetration testing to test the security and white hats do it i don't know i think they just do it for the the, the fun of it but not for any um, profit um, now the other thing is uh, war driving war driving is where people um, sort of drive past your house try and use your um, your wi-fi to, to to get into your system 
that may be a problem around where 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 you live um, and people may may be doing that but if you've got a firewall on your system they'll just go to the to the next house where people have not encrypted their data or got a uh, a password and and um, get a connection there people always go for the easiest option anyway that's my security briefing that's all I really know about security I hope it's of um, some interest and some use okay bye now